Am I like the worst guest for that sort of stuff? Oh, you might I be the most squeamish. <laughs> I, I didn't realise. No, actually, I knew I was squeamish. I think we might have found an endurance sport that I've beaten you at. <laughs> <laughs> Warning, the following podcast contains extreme language and themes and is not suitable for all audiences. Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, him a big fat cunt. We've got little not gay Tom in the corner Hello. and we've got a very special guest with us today. Uh, ultra runner, just dude who runs loads, does loads of Iron Bands. Uh, it's Sean Conway, how are you doing? Hello mate, how's it going? Thank you, you very much. Guys? I didn't know the official description there because uh, you just yeah. do loads of mad shit, basically. Yeah, I mean, in, in the <laughs> early days people would call me an adventurer. Right. I sort of cringe when people say that. <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It that's... does sound like you're going to go colonise. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> aha, yeah. I will adventure to the Congo. <laughs> but it's like, in, it's in the same bracket as when someone, you know, if you have to party and someone says, what are you doing? You've said, I'm a poet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? I what? have literally what? been that guy when I was a teenager. Yeah, well, like, what? Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't understand. So like, I've in my head, it's like, when you say I'm an adventurer, it's like, oh, what? Yeah. So I sort of go with athlete now. I, like, yeah. Super ultra endurance, like whatever's like the longest, the longest of the long stuff that you can think of yeah. is what I, t annoyingly, I'm, I'm good at. <laughs> right, you're just good at keeping yeah. fucking going. Yeah, but I, I joke that I have the perfect balance of a short term memory and a low IQ. So <laughs> it's just like the Zen diagram of that is like, I'm, yeah. that's all you need. You can I just put one foot in front of the yeah, other. Yeah, within five minutes, I, I'm like, am I am I miserable? Is it? I can't remember. I'll just carry on. <laughs> I'll be like a goldfish. Yeah, basically, I'm a stupid goldfish. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. When I heard that we were going to have a bearded ginger ultra marathon runner on, I was very excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right up your Street, isn't it, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Old ultra marathons. Yeah, but then I heard that he's well, not king size Snickers. He's yeah. not. He's not finished running the length of Africa. So <laughs> it was absolutely. Good. Actually, no, he finished today, didn't he? He did yesterday. Actually, yeah. His geezer. Yeah, fuck his shout to it. I have mad, absolutely. This is going to surprise you, Sean. I'm not a runner. <laughs> Stop the press. Yeah. I'm not. I don't even like running. That's, what? Yeah, that's that's what oh, I think of wow. running. He does sometimes run if the ice cream van's leaving. Yeah. You have the runs a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have no concept about how like what running the length of Africa means because yeah. it's so big and vast. Well, were you like, not the first to swim the length of Britain, was it? I was the first to swim the length of Britain, yeah. That's, yeah, that was, that's fucking nuts. That was hard, yeah. That's, like, that's harder than running. Yeah. <laughs> When well, you, like, well yeah, because you're mostly in land. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sea <laughs> swimming is crazy hard. Like yeah. I used to live in, when I lived in Brighton, oh. I'd go swim in the sea, <laughs> oh. and it was it's way harder than being in a pool. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I did not realise that you meant swimming around Britain. I thought you meant like going through like a canal network. Well, weirdly, <laughs> I in my original route was canal based. Oh, but <laughs> the... we'd have to get out at locks. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to get out at the locks, but also no. There... I like the idea that he doesn't get out. He just waits for someone to do it. Yeah. He's got tread water <laughs> <laughs> waiting for a canal boat to come. Through. I used to live on a boat actually. It was great. Yeah. No, but you. you so from from you could have gone up Cornwall into the River Severn at Worcester you get on the Birmingham Canal and then you eventually work your way you can almost do canals from Bir from uh, basically yeah from Worcester through to Kendal Right. But then you'd have to go across land to the sea, and then yeah, so I'll just do the sea the whole way. Yeah, how yeah. long did that take you? Four and a half months. Yeah. Fucking hell. It's horrible. <laughs> Are you like surely you you don't have kids or anything, right? Yeah, yeah, I got two two boys. Yeah. Do you just not like them? <laughs> <or something? laughs> do you remember their names? Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> do, you, do you know my dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's it's yeah, it is it is like especially when they were younger. If I'd go away for. Because I'm actually, I am home a lot. So, yeah, but yeah. when I go away, it's you know every two game. years, yeah, it's yeah. months. Um, but yeah, when it was heartbreaking when I went, to, I was only two weeks. I did a marathon in every national park in the UK consecutively, and then I got home, and it was only like a split second. But my my eldest was like nervous. He was like, yeah. "Who are you?" Uh, you, you like, and he was oh, like, "Oh, it's gosh. daddy, actually." Yeah, and I was yeah. like, "Oh no, I don't want that again." Yeah, and yeah, no, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, like with the with the Ironmans now that I did, you know, by the last. 
two or three weeks, my son was like, oh, daddy, can, is your challenge finished so you can play with me now? I was yeah. like, oh, no. So how, many, how many Ironmans was it? 105. Christ, I mean, explain what an Ironman is for some people who don't know. Explain. Yeah, so an Ironman is a 2.4 mile swim straight into 112 miles on the bike and then a marathon at the end. And you got to do it every single day. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yeah. What's it the was hard stupid, bit? That, yeah. <laughs> What's the hard bit? Yeah. Sounds easy to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'd knock that out now, by the way. Knock that out of the park. Yeah, yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would only take me several months. You, yeah. the amount he would complain if he had to drive that far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, he would yeah, not yeah. shut up moaning yeah, yeah, about yeah, it I'd all be, day. I'd be so annoyed. If you had to drive like 150 miles, you'd be gutted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've yeah. turned down work for, for, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for that yeah. very reason. That yeah. is insane. What made you decide to do that? It was the fourth category in a category of, of world records. So you can get, there's four types of records, yeah. really. You can do a world's first. You can do a world's furthest or longest of something. You can do the a fastest of something. And I've got a record on all three of those. Oh, we've uh, broken a world record. Yeah. You're preaching to the choir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. what is we, it? We drew the world's longest, uh, we did the world's longest drawing of a train. Yeah, really? yeah. Actually, we did, yeah. Oh. We recently did that. Yeah. We tried we... to break some other records, but that was the only one that we managed to do. <laughs> spoiler was... alert for anyone who hasn't seen our world record special, yeah. but we did uh, break a record. Yeah, <laughs> we did break a record. And also, spoiler alert, it came out four months ago. Get on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who was the uh, previous owner of that world record? Ah, he was a lovely chap, a lovely young lad uh, who we shattered his dreams. Uh, yeah, uh, but you know, we, we saw we saw an opportunity. We took it. Why not? Why yeah. not? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, well, so, so you, yeah. So you've so done, you've done all categories. three, and yeah. then the the fourth one is the most you know, which is quite a common one, like yeah, you know, yeah. most eggs cracked to the head or something stupid, like yeah. you know. Uh, and because of you know doing all the triathlons and you know. I just it just was kind of an obvious one for me the the sort of full irons yeah um and it was miserable yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. yeah I mean I've been trying to they say there's what there's type one fun which is a roller coaster fun at the time <laughs> forget about it type two fun right. is miserable at the time a year later you look back and go oh actually that was all right that was a memorable that's experience that's not fun that's, Ty that's yeah. not an, that's not actual fun and type three fun is when it's miserable at the time and a year later you look back and it's still miserable and that's where i'm at the minute <laughs> <laughs> that's freddie's entire life is type yeah. three it's very yeah. much this podcast yeah. <laughs> yeah. i'm i'm type one all the time tom is the ultimate type one. i am You're always like, type one. Yeah, you're just yeah. like that excited all the time uh but yeah i think i think yeah. I, I very much disagree with that i think only one of those sounds fun <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah well i get that you know you can look back on something that was hard in hindsight and be like proud of it yeah. and pleased with it or yeah. enjoy it but it's not like fun. the first lockdown yeah. it was rubbish at the time but we look back now and go oh wasn't that first lockdown good i don't think that at all i had, I had uh, several consecutive mental breakdowns <laughs> 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 yeah it was not good at all uh, but yeah, I see what you mean. But yeah, so like you're you're very much into the the misery side of it, though. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm two te I'm t I'm two animals in my personality. I'm a monkey and a terrier, and the monkey wants to make stuff and break stuff and fix stuff and yeah, I have yeah. loads of different hobbies and has a short attention span. But I love it I, and it doesn't bother me. But I can't be a, a monkey for too long, otherwise I just get frustrated. So right. the I have to engage terrier. The terrier in me needs feeding. Yeah. And unfortunately for me, the only blooming way that the terrier gets fed is to ch chase these like really difficult challenges. Yeah, that's the only way I've tried everything else, but it's the only thing that satisfies. The proper scratches. Yeah, I'm he's actually a, uh, two animals as well, a I'm, hippo and a whale. <laughs> I'm actually honey badger. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone, or I'll bite your dick. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so it's just, you know, I'm glad I, it took me until I was like 30 to work that out. Maybe yeah. even maybe in my mid 30s, really. How were you just like a fucking How old are you now? That? 43, so. Because yeah. you, you look like an ageless beauty. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you look like a man that could be 31 <laughs> or like 67. I know. Are you trying to fuck him right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just my honey badger coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like a man with stamina. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm getting a good age for the, the long, long stuff. You, you sort of peak in your 40s i guess really but, yeah well That's actually if you ran a marathon at the age of 19 yeah. with the same training plan you'd biologically just get quicker until about 28 yeah. and then again with the same training plan you would just slowly get slower but you'd only reach your 19 year old self when you're uh, 64 Right, okay. Yeah. So, you, you know, the long stuff favours. I Cause it becomes it mental at a certain point, doesn't it? Like, uh, do, isn't it true that, like, at a certain, like, uh, like distance level, the difference between men and women just goes away because it's all, like, psychological mainly? Yeah, if you take injury out of it. So, sure. Yeah. W w 
you've got unfortunately you can't take injury out of it because yeah, 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 yeah. you know you can be the strong mentally as strong as possible but if, you, if your leg falls if off your leg, your foot, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly so yeah but, um, what's but her name right. sorry like, i should remember like the, the british woman who just won the yeah Barclays. jasmine paris yeah fucking unbelievable you didn't remember jasmine paris <laughs> i didn't remember her name because my brain doesn't <laughs> fucking work fucking idiot but i look like, everyone knows jasmine i watched paris. the documentary about the Barclay marathons a few years ago it's one of my favorite documentaries yeah, of all time so I love good it. have like, you yeah. done that you know what so the ego in me looks at the data and the facts and i'm like Oh, three miles an hour. I could do that. Come yeah. on, you know. And then actually, when you know, she took three attempts to do it. Damien Hall didn't make it last year or this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like they're the best, you know, in Britain. And if they don't make it, I'm not going to make it. Like I'm not. You surely got a. You've got a crack. You know. Uh, I think I'd, I think I'd have a good crack at it. Yeah, yeah, I think my sleep deprivation's good. My navigation's good. I probably I'm nursing a couple of injuries. I'd need to shift maybe wait till you're completely. fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's maybe. what you want to go into in good yeah. form. I think 105 Iron Man is probably not so good for the training. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe like have a bit of recovery yeah, after that. A couple, yeah. couple of years and then I'll be back on that. Right? Yeah. yeah, but yeah, the Battle of Marathons is like the most mental race on earth. For anyone didn't know, look into it. It's fucking crazy. But like, yeah, uh, you should give yeah. it a crack, man. No, I'm definitely. I'm keen. I am keen. It's on my. It's yeah, on yeah. one of those things on my bucket list that I definitely want to do. Yeah. Whereas I look at it and go, fuck that. Although I, I'm sure I could get into it because at the Barclay Marathons the guy who runs it he's like he's dead funny mm. one of the things he does is every year he puts someone in it who he knows will just fail because it's funny to him <laughs> like so he always he always lets someone enter who's just got zero chance because yes yeah, a laugh for him like yeah. when they come back like crying he's like hey. well <laughs> every, yeah. Ready. Everyone, yeah. Yeah, everyone, everyone fails only yeah, yeah before this year only 17 people have done it in- yeah yeah 30, 40 years or whatever. It's, it's going. fucking yeah. nuts. And like when he when it's when he thinks that he's getting a bit too easy, he'll just like fuck with it some more, make it worse. Well, because this year five finished. That's yeah, oh, next year's gonna, oh, be gonna be brutal. Super hard. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I love that shit. <laughs> I know. Like the, the dude who runs it is just exactly my kind of guy. Yeah. Like he's just a, a lunatic who does stuff for a laugh. There's no yeah. gain out of it. Like the entry fee is whatever he needs that year. So like one year it'd be like, oh, I need socks. Everyone bring me some socks. <laughs> 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 it's fucking. And class. there's no start time. He, he gives yeah. you a window. And he's like, we'll start anywhere between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Yeah. And it and starts when he Oh, like, fuck off. Yeah. Who is he like? Yeah. Fucking DPD. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like rock. <laughs> <laughs> it starts when he lights a fag yeah, exactly. as well. That's how he yeah. starts it. He's like, right, on your marks, go. Yeah. And just that as the sickiest thing go. Could we do He's that? fucking class. Could yeah. we do that for dead meat and yeah. just let people in based on pr- presents that they bring us? Yeah. Yes, absolutely, yeah. I, <laughs> I thought I, we're trying to sell tickets. Let's yeah. get gifts. <laughs> I have come to the conclusion... Uh, no offense, yeah. the runners are mostly morons, and if you, <laughs> and if you just abuse them, yeah. but then give them a challenge, they're yeah. like, "Oh, this is the best thing ever." Yeah, you know what I mean? You, oh, right, I've done a new marathon where I spit in your face every yeah. mile. Like, yeah. oh, brilliant! But you Only get a medal th- at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, there's a little bit. Only three people have ever finished. Yeah. Oh. Every mile, I, I have some shit in my hand and I slap it across your face. Make it harder, Daddy. I kick yeah. you in the <laughs> balls and ram my fist up your ass, yeah. and you've got to do it for. 24 hours. But you will like get a, a t-shirt and a little yeah. trinket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's just a love of punishment, isn't there? It's like there is a weird like kick yeah. thing to it. It's like you yeah. get all the punishment, but then you get a little bit of aftercare yeah. afterwards and but it's all good. It's just that thing to chase. I think yeah. we need to chase stuff. You know, I think it's just mammalian. You know, you've got to have that thing to beat your chest and yeah. a long, long time ago. I mean, I'm, you know? I'm more of the sort of guy that lets goals come to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit here and just let, let life's achievements yeah. come at me. Uh-huh. And it's not working great. <laughs> no, he <laughs> nearly died. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not not achieved anything so far, but um, you know, maybe I'm one waiting. day I'm waiting. Yeah, like I, I was, there was a thing in the Telegraph the other week that like did my fucking head in, right? Like it was just someone like writing an article to be a, a prick basically and get attention. Where it was after Jasmine Paris had done the Barclays, and someone had written this article like, yeah, that might be all well and good, but. Uh, doing uh, those feats of endurance doesn't impress me. It's like, <laughs> oh, well, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, if it doesn't impress you sat in an office in London, who gives a fuck then? Right, well, why bother? Why bother doing anything? I find it's it, crazy. I find it impressive. I'm very impressed you've read all those things, mate. It's stupid, but fucking fair play. I, I find it impressive in the same way that I find space impressive. Like... <laughs> Like, like you, you, you know when they talk about space and how big it is, yeah. you go, that's impressive. But really, I have no concept of yeah. it. Yeah. I just know that it sounds ridiculous. You have no concept of exercise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, Running like, the final yeah. frontier. But like, I know how I feel after doing 20 minutes on a fucking cross trainer, let alone doing a marathon and the swim and the cycle. Like, doing one Ironman is mental. Like... 
Who gets to the end of one of those and goes, another? Because like even amongst Iron Man people, they must look at you and go, he's nuts. It's pretty rare to do multiples, yeah. I yeah. mean, I think so. I've I've got the world record, 105. There's a guy who's done 101. There's a, uh, another guy who's done 60. There's a French guy who's Pussy. done 40. <laughs> yeah. uh, typical yeah. French. <laughs> French guy who's oh, done 40. You're sweet too tired. Yeah. Fuck off. Well, I think he got injured. I think he came off the bike or yeah, something. Oh, he gave, gave up, did he? Surrendered. Yeah. Yeah, little white flag. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> if you listen to this, you're a bitch. What's his name? What's his name? I've forgotten. No, you've not. No, you've not. Hey, Jean-Luc, you're a bitch. Yeah. Pierre or whatever. You can get fucked. Uh, there's a couple of Italians who've done 30 yeah. and then, then 20 is sort of... But the people who've... Basically, what I'm saying is there's probably... 50 people on the whole planet who, who've ever done more than two in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like it's pretty small considering 6,000 people have climbed Everest. Yeah. Like, you know, so it's it's quite a rare niche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sport that no one's into and there's no prize money or anything. <laughs> I didn't even get a medal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because no one else is competing. No, exactly. You, yeah, you don't get a medal if you beat no one. Yeah. <laughs> if, somebody, if somebody beat your record, yeah. would you go after them and try and get it back? Uh, someone's going for it this year, a friend of mine, who I broke his across Europe records. So I think he's getting me back. Oh, uh, wait a minute. When yeah. does he start? May. You want to start your own yeah. uh, Iron Man the next day. Yeah, just chase How me. deep yeah. motivated yeah. would that be for They him? both never stop, though. They both <laughs> die on the road, yeah. age like 80. Just like, ah. <laughs> no, I'm key. I think if in 10 years' time, if no one's gone for 200, I might I'll have a think about it yeah yeah i think yeah no. my kids need to be older now they're too yeah. young I, like, I that's to, fair yeah. once they've grown up and you yeah. can just uh... someone will do a year though yeah N not in the uk road the weather's too bad like in america i've thought about it. you could do a northern route in the summer southern route in the winter long flat roads play the tailwind game yeah so how long do you reckon you could run for and not stop well it becomes a sleep thing so you know I, i'm not sure what the world record is well so guinness with, if you're looking at Guinness, they're, they're, what they consider non-stop running is still allows some sleep, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, and and do you, do you, are you yeah, a bit like, oh, yeah, well, not... yeah, or, or, or maybe not sleep, but what, cons what, what, what is considered non-stop running? Physically stopping moving, stopping running. Like if you stop for a pee, have you stopped running, right? No. Is it sleeping? Is it, because what if you you know, run and take 20 minutes off and then run again. So like it's, it gets, there's some like big gray areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, the record for non-stop running was, yeah, I mean, once you're hitting the 70, 72 hours, you, you know, your sleep deprivation this, takes it, over basically. A woman in New Zealand ran for three days straight, completing 310 miles without sleep. Yeah, Jesus. so is, is that a distance one or a, or, 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 or a time one? So that's... Imagine having to do that on the way back as well. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what, was she going for three hundred mile, the three hundred yeah. mile re record, or was she going? She for the, beat, she the, beat yeah. a record of three hundred and one miles by Pam Reed in two thousand and five. Yeah, there you go. oh, she did laps. It was three hundred and thirty two uh, laps. Mostly, of the park. yeah, mostly it's laps on that. Sort oh, of stuff. would that yeah. not that not drive you insane? No, I did laps though. of my Ironmans. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, it's good because you. You need to take away as much thought process as possible. Sure. And so you'll you're be not surprised. adapting to new terrain yeah. or whatever. Not, yeah. And thinking. Like, genuine. If you had to, if you did a, a continuous route, A to B, for 300 miles, you'd get to a junction and you would genuinely be like, is it left or right? Yeah. Even though you know it's left, you'd question it. You know, because you your know, brain must yeah. get in. It must like mentally, it must get. Oh yeah, crazy. It's yeah, I mean, I was. I Are you not just like constantly having little mini breakdowns while you're doing it? Yeah, but then I'd forget about them two <laughs> things later because I'm so tired. <laughs> right. But like, I'd forget my kids' names. You know, yeah. I, you know, I'd be like, oh, oh yeah, you've not seen it for so long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's poor kids. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I am gonna one day find out that my dad's well into Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I started seeing like uh, flies around the house for sexy Spanish pool boys and we don't have a pool I was like right I should probably go home <laughs> <laughs> Caroline's you know uh, what yeah. did you think about like did you have like I don't know like uh, like a routine of to trying to keep your mind active or well the monkey and the terrier depends on how things are going mm -hmm. like if things are going well the monkey's there just like fucking having fun and just well this is cool solving world peace and then forgetting about it you know but when things are going sort of not so well, like maybe I'm down on time or power or I'm, like my, my pace is down, 
then the terrier is super analytical and there's like there's 10.5 pillars of endurance like to get a bit boring now <laughs> but there's uh planning experience health fitness nutrition hydration sleep muscle management motivation uh community and then the point five is luck Right. right. So you've got sleep and luck yeah, yeah. so far. So you're on <laughs> yeah, yeah. point five yeah. currently of those. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I'm just mi- yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but you've got to micromanage all of those. Like, right. so constantly. you're just constantly thinking, like, yeah. how is my health? How am I feeling? How's yeah. this going? You know, How's my technique? My muscle that? management. What sleep am I getting? When am you I say hydrated? muscle management. Yeah. So I mean, what what condition are your muscles in on yeah. a daily? You know, do you need ice bath? Do you right, need hot? Right, right, right. Do you need physio? Do you need acupuncture? Do you, do you stop need fucking running? <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. you got to match because you know a little a little tightness in your hip mm. could lead to bad tracking on your knee, and if you do that for yeah. three months straight, you're going to get no more cartilage. So then that's yeah. life changing. Yeah. It's what ruined so, yeah. my ultra marathon yeah. career. Was yeah. it? Yeah, that bad tight. tracking. The cartilage yeah. was it? Bad <laughs> tracking. Yeah, well, I was scratching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always thought I had good tracking. Yeah, but I didn't. I had bad, bad tracking. tracking. Yeah, bad tracking. I yeah. don't know what those words mean. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I know so little about running and I didn't know it was so in-depth. Maybe start learning. No, because yeah. it's, it's it, I just don't care about it enough. Like the people How do you who know? Do it You've never tried. Are super passionate about it. Uh-huh. And it's like, good for you that you found something that you're into. It's never going to be my thing. It's just, it just. I'm not lo- saying you have to do 105 Ironmans. Maybe do a 10 minute jog around the park. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I get it though. I get it because I I hated running until I was like thirty five. Yeah, yeah. I still kind of do. And, but then, I'm getting and there. then you had your first kid. And you yeah, were like, yeah, I love I'm going for yeah. a run. Ah, it's <laughs> quiet out here. <laughs> yeah. No, I was even worse. Cycling is worse because you most cycle like if you, people who cycle cycle longer than people who run because mm. you can you can do six seven hours on a bike without getting injured. Uh, so yeah, I've I've moved more to the running since cycling, but I, I was a bit like you. In fact, in fact, even now, I'm not really addicted to sport. Like, mm. I know you've had Pritchard on here. He yeah. has to do it. Like, yeah, Pritch is like, like, Pritch has got the ex addict yeah. thing. Like, yeah, loads of ex addicts exactly. get yeah. well into running or sport and exercise because it's the only thing that gives you a buzz that doesn't kill you. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, it's just keeping him going. And yeah. he just, he needs that discipline because he's a lunatic. Yeah. 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 I, I'm not addicted to this, the exercise bit. I'm addicted to the chase. Right. So, without anything to chase, I, I, I can get bit lazy to be yeah. honest yeah i've i've only recently got into like any sort of exercise yeah. i spent the first 30 years of my life doing fucking nothing but then yeah like i stopped drinking i was like well i've got to do something now uh like yeah like i actually like it now it's boring and lame it's like uh, i really like i was annoyed by how much i like it yeah <laughs> a friend of mine has started doing ultra marathons yeah. and he started doing like iron mans and stuff like that and he comes from a cycling and swimming background but running's been the thing that he's become passionate about and i hadn't seen him in about a year And I met him last Saturday and he looks like he has AIDS. (laughs) He honestly looks like he is three months away from death. Uh He looks horrific. This is so skeletal. He's so every little sinew of like, there's no fat on him. There's there's just, he's like, it's literally skin on bone. That's it. And he just looks so unwell. Yeah, but that's that's you projected there. That's what you think looks unwell, but this is what unwell looks like. (laughs) No, 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 no. He he honestly looks... You nearly died. You've got a big baggy fat heart. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've, I've got heart failure, so I can't run. Oh yeah, yeah, and the, oh, yeah, and that's the bad the... tracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Along yeah, with yeah, the bad yeah, tracking, yeah. I've also yeah, got yeah. bad heart. Yeah, that's what the doctors have said. No exercise, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that what they've recommended? Don't... The heart doctors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, Famously, they're against that. the cardio, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So my dad, he sounded like my dad. He's like, oh no, I've, I'm on the blood thinners, can't, can't do exercise. <laughs> I've always just like, I, I, the worst thing for me was like, like if you go to the gym and you run on a treadmill, because yeah, there's, boring. there's a big mm. button there and you can just stop instantly at any time. You, you can also do yourself, that with, though. you can also do that with normal running. Yeah, you can do that with <laughs> stop. No, but no, but if you run, you just get on a bus. Then it comes to a point where you're like, I've, I've still got to get home, haven't I? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So, whereas when you're on the treadmill, there's a button. Instant stop, and you can get off, get in the car, and fuck off. Yeah, yeah but you got to um, you got to like not let yourself. Like, that's the thing with it is you got to be disciplined because if you quit once, then you quit every time, isn't it? This is this is it. The, you need to find something to chase. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There isn't women. <laughs> <laughs> you have to run off. To yeah. Crucially. <laughs> if you've you ever heard the term the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak? Yeah, but your spirit is not no, willing. My, no, my <laughs> both of mine are, are <laughs> unwilling and weak. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it? What was your flesh? The flesh is fine, but the spirit isn't arsed. That was yeah, your that's, yeah. we've literally got a quote from Freddie and like that someone embroidered. That was what he said. The flesh is fine, spirit isn't arsed. That was briefly before his flesh nearly died, though, wasn't it? I, I can't I can't deal with the mental side of it. It's just just like it's so it, it must be monotonous yeah but i i love it yeah no. but you get all the endorphins in that though innit? it no like, not the stuff that i do because i'm quite low low paced i'm not like pushing it hard there's you know just trying to keep it slow and steady it's just as you miserable know. as you can make yeah it, it? I, I don't know there's just i love it i love just having something long to do and just settling in because i'm just better at that than real life i think you know, like real life is yeah, just. Yeah, I hear you. I'm like, oh, what? It's just like it's boring for me. Like, oh, I got to do the chores and the shopping yeah. and like the stuff with the kids is fun, but <laughs> everything else about life yeah. is just like it's dull, isn't it? <laughs> and like, so this gives me that little bit of excitement to just. And I know what I'm doing isn't exciting, but the process of it just takes me out of this like paying the bills and you know all that stuff. Yeah. What was your pace when you were doing the 105 in? Oh, about yeah. 14 hours was my average so 14 hours every day yeah trying to keep it and zone one heart rate yeah again yeah. to get very boring but yeah trying to keep my heart rate like 110 so that's central london <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, like, yeah. so that, that's just like keeping your heart rate not like 110 yeah right so yeah, yeah like super low. you do not want to go zone four why because that's Way too high. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Zone four heart rate. Is... I think yours went to about zone fifteen, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, my heart rate was all right. My my my, actually, my resting heart rate's not bad. Consid- it just sounded like an old accordion. Yeah, yeah. That was the problem with it. If you put a stethoscope on it, it was like. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, consider it, it was just my blood oxygen levels were just dreadful. Yeah, and still continue to be. But I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna die. I might die. It'll be fine. <laughs> Take iron. If I die, I'll die on my own terms. Yeah? Yeah, just sat, sat on a, your ass sat doing chair, nothing. Yeah. Watching Tipping Point. <laughs> <laughs> he died as he lived. <laughs> kind oh. of a heart attack is at your own terms anyway. Yeah. It's not like you go, I'm going to have a heart attack now. Yeah. He says all this. He has joined the gym. He's like, yeah. he's very coy about it. I've not it, joined but... it yet. Oh, oh you didn't. Oh. We've not signed on the dotted line. Right. I'm going to text him this week, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, the gym made him sign an extra waiver on top of the normal yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> He's so close to yeah, death. He actually wanted me to sign two waivers, <laughs> which I think was him being a cunt. I think, <laughs> I think was him being a cunt about it. Uh, yeah, that was fucking. Have close. we got any? Uh, I mean, have we got any news? Yeah. We've got some news. Good. So, yeah. What have, you got, uh, what have you got coming up next, though, man? Like, sure, like, we've well, got another challenge in the pipeline. Have you got another thing planned? Um, we're getting this sorted? Cycling Lands End to John O'Groats in September. Mm-hmm. Uh, running... That's like a day trip for you, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's fun. It's going to be fast. It's with a group of people, seven days. So that's it's a push that. Yeah. It's 130 mile a day. Running across Scotland at the end of uh, August. That's hard. That's 200. 15 miles in a one yeah. so, well if you end up in Edinburgh yeah. we've got shows come yeah, see yeah, us yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> if you're running through yeah. we'll, 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 ta- we'll I'll stand outside my venue with a bottle of water yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can have a pint what's, what's, yeah. the worst, what's the worst injury you've ever had I got run over when I cycled around the <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> yeah this is bad I, yeah. I just wasn't expecting I nearly did a spit take on my water I thought it'd be like oh my tendon my ligament yeah. but Jesus no I got hit I got hit behind I was on my bike guy hit me doing 50 mile an hour bang Shit. in the middle hit the windscreen I actually don't remember a thing I went to bed the night before in a town called Bald Knob <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, woke up in the hospital the next day. So I'd got up. In Bald Knob Hospital. Bald Knob, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of pedophiles were there. <laughs> <laughs> and the Bald Knob was right near the town called Conway. So I was like, what? What are the chances? Yeah. And, uh, Bald Knob Conway yeah, is what yeah. you're looking at on the map. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, fractured spine, just a ah, yeah, concussion. Did they find the guy who did it? Yeah, oh, yeah, he stopped. Yeah, he was all, yeah, he was amazing. And, and everything was all... I wouldn't call him amazing. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he got better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he started from a low bar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, to be fair, I was cycling on a road you would just never cycle on. But mm. I was legally allowed to be there. But if you knew any better, you would have avoided it. But I was just following a line on a map, you know? Mm. Um, so, yeah, no, he admitted fault and everything. And actually... You know, you hear those war stories in America, like, you know, they get you in the ambulance and they look for your insurance. And if you don't have it, they mm. chuck you out of the yeah. back. None of that. I, By the time I'd woken up, they'd done like 50,000 
dollars worth of stuff to me, whatever, like yeah. MRIs and x-rays and ambulances and all that. And they were like, you know what? If you don't have insurance, we'll just write it off as bad debt because we feel bad that you got run over near on our turf, you know. That's a, nice. a private hospital. The guy, Christ. the owner was just like, yeah, you know, we'll try and get it off the driver. Yeah. And if we don't, you know, that's it. And oh, so, yeah, yeah, honestly, the Americans were amazing. That's um, lovely. That's yeah. really lovely. No, it was, it was heartwarming. So, I'd have than, left you to die. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I also, other than that, I did my, I did my shoulder in doing the Gloucestershire cheese rolling. That was pretty You bad, did that oh, down yeah. the hill? I came yeah. second. That's did you? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, what I year? Uh, 2009. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I won it 2008. <laughs> <laughs> he just stood at the bottom like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do keep, if you win, you keep the cheese. I was yeah. gutted. Oh, anyway. Yeah, no, that is gutted. You get nothing yeah. for second, I imagine. Tenor. You got a tenner. I got a tenner, yeah. And class. a certificate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking class. And I, the certificate I got, they didn't even bother to like s sign it individually. So it's like yeah. a, a fake scanned on signature from the, whoever the chairman of the Gloucester Chief. Yeah. I'm like, how many? You're not giving many of these out. You can at least yeah. like sign each one. I how busy are you? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. a low effort prize. <laughs> I love that. The crappier it is, the yeah. sort of the more I want it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I sent one of our fans a bull clip this week as a prize. <laughs> <laughs> a single bull clip. A bull clip. Uh, it's not any bull clip though. A bull clip that would have been clipped to you at some point, I imagine. Uh, no, it was one that I found here. That I thought, <laughs> that I thought they might think it has been, but it hasn't. <laughs> we have sent some truly atrocious prizes. Well, to there's our fans. you know there's that red paper clip guy who got a house eventually oh maybe, yeah maybe your bull clip guy you, you, yeah. you'll, you'll be laughing when he gets the oh house not, with our, not with our fan sean he's gonna <laughs> clip that to his testicles and masturbate that's, <laughs> that's what he's gonna do <laughs> yeah like our fans are uh, no one's got a million pound house to trade right like, i think that's very safe with our fans <laughs> You might be watching or listening to this going, ah, oh, wouldn't this be better if I could also smell the guys who are doing this? So maybe come see us live. We are doing the Edinburgh Fringe. Yes. Uh, Rob, you're doing your own show for the whole month. Where I are you going to be at? I'm going to be at the Caves. It's on uh, Cowgate. It's right in the centre. Um, and I'm at 8.55pm every day, apart from one of them. I think it's like a Monday in the middle, but you know. Don't I, come to that. I'm it's going to be dead good. I'm doing the second half. I'm doing from the 13th of August Part onwards. Timer. I am doing the cask room uh, at the mash house, again, right in the centre, right next to the caves, yeah. actually. And mine's at five past five. And we're going to try and do some live podcasts as well, so come check us out. Like, Have a look at those in the brochure. We haven't uh, officially confirmed the dates yet. So if you are a Dead Men Talking uh, fan, please come down. We'd love to see you there. Get pictures. Come say hello. Uh, stop Just us. mainly give us money. Harass us, harangue us. Yeah. Touch us. Yeah, touch Freddy. Just without saying anything, just walk up and rub his face. All oh, right, okay. Here's a rule. Right, Rob said that this is fine. If you see Rob in Edinburgh, take your finger and just try and ram it up his ass. <laughs> no matter where you are or what just, he's doing. Freddy doesn't really like greetings, is the thing about him. So watch him, what he much prefers as uh, the flamboyant gay man he is. Just tickle his bollocks. Just walk up, tickle his bollocks without saying anything. Do you know what? If I've been walking around Edinburgh all day, yeah. you fucking touch them at your own risk. <laughs> uh, but if you can't be asked going to the Edinburgh Festival, then uh, Freddy's going to be going on tour. I'm on tour, baby. I am on tour October and November. Uh, I'm going to 20 different cities all across the UK and Ireland. Uh, there's some places that are dead close to selling out already. I think they'll probably be sold out by the time you're listening to this. And there's other places as well that have literally limited availability. It's some of them really are not, well. aren't selling at all, though, so buy those tickets. Uh, shout out to Darwin and Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they're actually doing yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. but they're just not as well as everything else. If you want tickets then head over to freddyquinn.co.uk, freddy with a Y, Q -U -I -N -N -E .co uk, and get your tickets right now before they sell out. The Army of the Dead needs you. Join us at patreon.com forward slash Pod to get even more from this podcast. If you love it, you can get an extra episode every week. We've got loads of specials on there. There's more stuff going up all the time. And most importantly, you are the reason, you who've signed up to the Army of the Dead, are the reason that we can go so hard. The reason we don't need to give a fuck about upsetting anybody is that we have you behind us. So join us at patreon.com forward slash Pod. Get yourself a free trial for a week if you like it's three pounds a month you get loads of extra stuff now here's a little taster of a recent episode from patreon for you to enjoy i know this is silly but mm. why are there not five stages of cancer i think stage five is death <laughs> oh yeah good point <laughs> yeah i think they're doing like a baseball <laughs> i'm afraid i'm afraid you're uh... <laughs> jack i'm afraid your father has stage five cancer <laughs>
<laughs> How long have I got left? <laughs> left? <laughs> I know, it's stage five. He died some time ago. I li- I li- stage five cancer. I-, I like that it's like a baseball base system. It's like, <laughs> I- I- where'd you get? I got to third base with cancer last night. Yeah, lost all my hair. <laughs> Yeah, got, got lumpy tits. I got to second base cancer. Did you feel a tip? No, but I lost one. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I, I just think it's weird to have four stages. Yeah. Did you feel the tip? Yeah, brought it home with me. I've, I've, I've <laughs> five or I've three. But you're going to just have to make up another stage. You're going to have to have this flimsy half stage that isn't really a stage. Have a stage in between one and two. I think they've just counted two. how many of the stages there are. Have a stage are. between one Rather and two. Than, they haven't created stages, though. They've counted how many stages there are. Have a stage. I don't, no, you, you, start when, you have another stage at the start. So stage one cancer is no cancer. So we've all just got stage one cancer. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, how are you? I'm doing all right, actually. I've got stage one cancer. No, oh, thank no. fuck. Stage one cancer is like Schrodinger's cancer. You might have no, or might not no, no, have no. cancer. So, so stage one cancer is when you think you might have cancer. Well, that's yeah. not anything. You don't have anything, though. No, I know, but you don't know. Well, we're when, you, all... when you identify as having so, cancer. So, so you feel something on your nipple and you feel like, oh, that's a fucking... Oh, I've got lump. lumpy areola. That immediately is stage one. Right, but it sure. might be stage two. You don't know. Exactly. Well, you about, don't know until you find out. The stages aren't about like. Do you think the stages of cancer are like going to the doctors, finding out you have cancer, being sad? It's like no. It's it's about how the cancer is developing in your body. Sure. And stage one cancer is cancer. It's curiosity. Be... <laughs> it's Schrodinger's cancer. I'm it's Schrodinger's cancer. Sort of fuck up. <laughs> Schrodinger is such a like thick person's idea of a clever thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm Schrodinger's clever. <laughs> Uh, I've got a new story here for you. Oh, yeah, Tom. I got sent this last minute, and it's a good one. Man appears in court naked over emotional support <laughs> cat going missing. That's a lot, that's, of... That's a lot of words in a it sentence, is, it's isn't like, it? It's, it's, there's a lot of things happening there. Surely the last thing you want to be is naked around a cat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, emotional support cat is, is a very grand term for animal you're fucking. Like... <laughs> Because that, I imagine that's what he's doing. I imagine he's bumming a cat <laughs> and he's like, that's my emotional support animal. It's such a poor choice of emotional support animal, an animal that doesn't give a fuck about you, famously. Yeah, they have like, no, emo- no emotions. Get a dog. Yeah. Uh, uh, this story is from Ireland. All right. Uh, I do- <laughs> why did you say that? Like I don't know. That? I don't know why. Like it was the far first... off land. We're going to our new section, <laughs> Irish stories. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> It, the first three words are a Dublin man. A Dublin man appeared in court nude and refused... Well, two of him. <laughs> a Dublin man appeared in court nude and refused to wear clothes after his emotional support cat went missing during a traffic stop arrest. Joseph Davis, 51, appeared before Judge Marie Quirk at a weekend sitting of Dublin District Court. So, so like, why is he naked? Well, Do you know what? In his head, he'll have proved a point really well. It'll be one of those things where he's like, aha, you see why you were in the wrong now? <laughs> he's just naked, crying yeah. his cat. Until you get off. my cat back, my cock will be on display. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Davis of Ashington Mews, Dublin, was charged with road traffic act offences of failing to give Garda, which is Irish for police, his details and not keeping his <laughs> car stationary during an alleged incident on Friday at Dunsink Drive in Finglas. Judge Quirk heard the motorist refuse to wear his clothes when brought to the courthouse. She remanded him in custody with consent to €200 Euros bail, directed medical attention and asked Garda to find out what happened to his cat, Oliver. Ms. So, So just to clarify... They went to take him to court, yeah. and he was like, I'm naked, I'm not going to court. And they were like, well, we're taking you anyway. And he was like, fine, I'm not getting changed. And they brought a naked man. So Ireland don't give a fuck, do they? <laughs> uh, Mr. Davis entered the courtroom naked with his hands over his private parts, but within seconds, he stood with arms outstretched to argue his case after rejecting the services of a lawyer. Yeah, you don't say. Like, your lawyer's <laughs> going to have a word with you about that, aren't they? They're going to yeah. be like, look, right, you know, plead guilty, not guilty, whatever you want, but I am going to have to insist you put your bollocks away. Yeah, just put some boxes on. Yeah. Pair of shorts. Very funny that he shuffled in covering it and then immediately he's gone to, like, the Michael Jackson pose. <laughs> yeah. Just like, ah! I don't see his wallet on him today, the judge remarked, <laughs> at which Mr. Davis interjected and said, you don't see fucking anything. Uh, yeah, but you should see where he keeps his cards. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Davis went on a tirade, but was warned that... A, 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 what? a, a what? tirade. <laughs> a tirade. A tirade. A tirade. It's Irish. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Irish for bus. 
What are you? A tirad? Yeah. A tirad. A tirad. It's a word that I don't say very often. You thick cunts. A tirad. <laughs> tirad. There's a lot of pressure reading these out. There's no pressure. There's, There's no pressure. There is because I know you two are going to shout at me. <laughs> Mr. What? Davis went fucking mental, but was warned that anything said must be relevant to the case. <laughs> Let me tell you my story. This is him speaking. Let me tell you my story. This is relevant. This is my story. What happened yesterday? I was travelling with my companion pet, Oliver. He normally comes into this court. I was dropping off legal documents pertaining to a legal case in the high court, he said. He claimed he'd been lent the car involved in the alleg- alleged offence and demanded, Now where is my emotional support animal? Judge Quirk set his bail and directed immediate medical attention where he remained in custody. I love it that he's just gone, can we get this guy help? Like, you know, the judge has been very nice there. I think, actually, that's that's a very like nice way to... Let's get him some medical help. What if this cat's job was to dress him? <laughs> what, you mean like a Disney character? <laughs> like, in a morning, that's what the cat does. The cat dresses him. The cat puts his pants on, some <laughs> yeah. doves put his hat on. Yeah, yeah. And now the cat squirrel brings a scar. Now yeah. the cat's not here, he's like, well, what am I to do? <laughs> Dr. Doolittle? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dr. Wear Little. <laughs> yeah. While escorted from the courtroom, he replied he did not need a doctor, just his pet. The judge assured him, saying... All that will be looked into. Bless her. <laughs> Bless this judge. This is the sweetest Irish judge. She's like, all that will be looked into. We'll get you your emotional support cat in jail. Yeah. <laughs> Christ. That's so funny. Like, I love like the idea, like when he calls it a companion pet, as opposed to the other kinds of pets. You yeah, know, that, yeah, yeah. That's what they're for. I want a pet, but to stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. I like, think there's some pets like that that aren't companions. Fish. Yeah. You wouldn't call fish, fish yeah. a companion Depends pet. Depends on the fish. You? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh no, no fish is offering emotional support. A puffer, a puffer fish are incredible. They're like little dogs. Like they like they're like incredibly intelligent. Like they're fucking well cool. Yeah. Porcupine puffer fish are amazing. They like follow you about like they do little tricks to get food and stuff. Yeah. They've got like proper personality. Hey, not in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Down off the furniture. Uh, but yeah, like obviously, yeah, most fish are fucking pretty brain dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, I think he struggled to argue he had emotional support goldfish. Yeah, yeah. He's got yeah, a little yeah. bit of string flapping <laughs> along behind you. <laughs> what do you think is the worst pet? Oh, uh, anything uh, like iguana or anything like that. Or... I, ne- yeah. I nearly got a python as a kid. I was gutted. There I you w- go. I That'd was that sort of pet. kid. I wanted something like that. I wanted like a tarantula mm. or something. Yeah. But my sister freaked out, so it wasn't a yeah. goer. I'm surprised you haven't got a snake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got I've got big snake energy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, like I, I, I've had aquariums a lot. Like that makes sense. Yeah. Both really like shedding like skin yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little psoriasis joke. Nice one. Uh, <laughs> we don't do them enough anymore. No, we don't really. No. <laughs> I I think. Anything like that? Anything reptilian? I think is a shock. tortoise. Pet. No, because 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 cool. the thing about the tortoise cool. is, is big there's, commitment. There's a sweet. I wanted novelty. to I wanted to stitch my kid up and get him one of those when he was born, one of those hundred year old ones. Yeah, like a Galapagos he, one. Yeah, like, be yeah. like w- yeah. you know when he leaves home at eighteen, be like this is yours. I mean, I guilt, mean, guilt tripping to keeping I, it. For I mean, to be fair, I think he'd probably love it because it can't run away. <laughs> 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 Like, Daddy. Like, <laughs> the daughter <laughs> cycles away. <laughs> Not again. Yeah. Uh, parrots are fucking bad for that though, because they live fucking ages, and oh, they're parrots also are awful. they're really hard to keep. They're really noisy. They fucking stink, and people get left them in wills and that because like they live for ages. Yeah. So like, if you got left that in your will, just the stinky, noisy, swearing, fucking horrible yeah. parrot. I'd honestly, yeah. I'd kill it on the way home. Yeah, I, 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 I people who have aviaries and. Bird out. I'd love to shit. watch you try and fight a parrot. A parrot would peck your head in. Let I it go, fucking. <laughs> Why have you got to kill it? <laughs> Open the cage. <laughs> I would batter a parrot. He's I'd... there trying to get it in a sack so he can throw <laughs> yeah. it off a bridge. I'd smash a parrot to bits. I honestly think if we let a parrot out in a room and you, I think the parrot would win. No way. Yeah. By heart no attack. Way. It'd win by nah, heart nah, attack. No, 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 no. Because what I'd do is I'd put a bit of parrot food just on What's my... parrot food? <laughs> a mixture of grains. A mixture of <laughs> grains. Ah, uh, how could it resist? No, you know what? Grapes. <laughs> Why? I feel like parrots like grapes. Some like... sunflower seeds. Oh, I'm going with. Uh, right. No let's Google it because no one knows what parrots eat. What do parrots eat? <laughs> seeds. It's definitely seeds. It's not it? ne- not necessarily. Definitely, they've got a big like. Oh, maybe. Big, might be like maybe meat. fruit. It might be meat. Maybe fruit. There might it's be not cr- meat. Well, it's got a big, like, sharp beak. I'm it could be a... I mean, I can't. I don't know. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Does that look like a mixture of grains to you? It fucking does. It actually does quite a lot. Yeah, like a mixture of grains. It's a mixture yeah. of grains. Freddie has done his uh, once a year correct <laughs> guess. I absolutely <laughs> nailed it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mixture of grains <laughs> and a grape <laughs> <laughs> in a little pile on my hand. Yeah. And then I'm going to have You're going to smell the cheese. <laughs> the fish You're going to smell it. the cheese, a parrot. <laughs> and then when the parrot comes, I go, poof, like that. <laughs> Fucked. Yeah. Absolutely fine. I think a parrot would absolutely bad. Nah. A, parrot, a parrot would pet your eyes. I'd out. knock yeah. a parrot out easy. Parrots are well strong and we, nimble. Yeah. We had a warthog as a pet as a kid. What? That's the most oh. Zimbabwean thing <laughs> I've ever heard <laughs> in my entire life. And a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Until the monkey bit my dad's ear, so he he let it into wild again. Yeah, those are those are incredibly difficult to keep pets. How do you, how do you tame a warthog? <laughs> Well, they were orphans, you know, like the mothers got killed or poached or something, so right. we just like looked after them. So, do you a while, live in the Lion King? Pretty, like, I, you know. I did, I did actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where, yeah. Where, where else in Zimbabwe did you live? In a place called Mana Pools, which is a big national park. Uh, my dad's a rhino and elephant conservationist, so we just grew up in the middle of the bush. No electricity, like nothing. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was Holy crazy. shit. Wow. That's yeah. where you grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking wild I mean, that, that, over here. That, that picture of the elephant, I mean, that could be my dad. Yeah. Would, like, yeah, that was my life. Yeah, growing up as a kid. Yeah. What? Just just growing up around elephants and shit. Yeah. Oh, we oh, had yeah, this. It was annoying, man, because like I'd wake up in the morning and like my all the 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 water in my paddling pool was gone, and my mum's like, "Where's this blimmin' hole?" So she spent like a week looking for the hole, and then woke up one morning, elephant was coming and drinking all my water. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> great. This is something we have in common because I also grew up around elephants. Yeah. <laughs> Fat family. Yeah. <laughs> Every morning there'd be a big bowl of food that was yeah. empty. Yeah. <laughs> would be like, Where's the hole in this? <laughs> it's a big KFC bucket, empty yeah. every morning. Yeah. Like, Freddie, with your little greasy face, come on, let's look at what's happened to this are they hole. Not, are they not dead aggressive elephants? Um, if you piss them off, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. You can tell, though, they... They like wave their ears and they do a, a mock charge and all that. And yeah. yeah. What's what's the one animal that you wouldn't want to fuck with? Oh well, hippo is yeah. the deadliest animal in, on, in the world, other than the mosquito, I think. Or yeah. Because they mammal, dead, deadliest mammal. Anyway. They're just like solid muscle, aren't they? Yeah, and they're right. massive and yeah. they they're very territorial and they they eat grass. So when they and and notoriously they hungry, hungry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so yeah, I'd still batter one. Yeah. You reckon you batter a hippo? Hear me out. Well, you're in the same hippo way food. category. Hear hippo me out. food. Hippo <laughs> food. Some grass. Yeah. <laughs> Smell the cheese. <laughs> Poof, fuck off. Yeah. Straight in its eye. What you actually yeah. want is uh, about six or seven small white plastic balls. <laughs> 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 no, nah, hippos are scared. I've been chased yeah. by I've been I've been chased by buffalo, hippo. We, we had a hyena come in our house once. That was like pro that's proper gnarly. scary, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll just come and bite your head and your steep in your in your bed, you know. So we uh yeah, well like someone left the gate open in the garden and then someone left the kitchen door open. And then I had friends over that night and I Six in the morning, my mum comes into my bedroom. It's like, why did you leave the living room in such a mess? Oh, my God, I left you. I trusted you. I'm like, what? And I'm like seven years old or something. Go into the living room, and it was trashed, man. And we're like, mm. it wasn't us. Who was it then? Anyway, go to the kitchen, and it, like again, everything's trash. And then we saw some footprints. And then went outside and followed the footprints. It was out, yeah. It was how you know. That's Jesus. a great way of getting out yeah. of that, though. Thank <laughs> fuck for that. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. You know. That's a real good alibi. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we had trashed the place. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Yeah, and they went to look for a hyena. Come yeah. on, boy! That's it. <laughs> How to get away with a Zimbabwean house party? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just at the end of it, you let one hyena loose. And you're like, bloody hyena! Hey, he's ruined everything. It's actually a bit <laughs> hack now. It's like my dog. Ate, the dog ate my homework. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, the hy hyena trashed it. Oh yeah, hyena trashed your house, yeah, did yeah, it? That yeah. old one. Yeah. How can we move from uh, Zimbabwe over to uh, the UK? Well, we moved to South Africa when I was younger because my dad. Oh, got... whereabouts? Uh, in KwaZulu Natal, Zululand, up near Mozambique. I uh, did not know why I asked. Yeah, I knew yeah. that. As as I've I've been to South Africa. Yeah, I know. Um, but I've only been to Cape Town. Yeah, no, this is two day drive from Cape Town, the other end. It was uh, it was all. very nice, but there was an awful lot of poverty. Like, yeah, like a yeah. lot. Yeah, I don't know what you were expecting. Yeah, mm. uh, less poverty. <laughs> right, and there was a lot of poverty. There was lots of it. Yeah, it was. Poverty ridden, I would say. And this is a man from Preston. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was mad. Um, yeah, but I went to Cape Town and like it's it's so mad seeing the divide because yeah. like people who've got a bit of money, they live in fuck it. So nice. Yeah. But the people it's... who don't, it's like Jesus wept. Yeah. I mean and and you know, even when I go back now, 
even though I grew up in Africa, I still I'm not cool with that. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I, it's a struggle. Yeah, it is a struggle. Yeah. Like it, it just because it doesn't make sense. Like it's yeah. So, but I I grew up in a bubble. You know, I just grew up in these big game parks. Yeah. You know, I spoke Zulu as a kid, so like I was That's fully cool. out of it. Can you, you know? still speak Zulu? A little bit. Like I've if, lost. If a you lot don't of speak the, a language, yeah. Reg, you just lose it. How do you like, say my name is? Uh, Ngingu. I am. Ngingu Sean. Ngingu. Yeah. yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. In Gingu. Why yeah. do you want that phrase in particular? You're trying to do Eminem lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> in Gingu. Hi. In Gingu. In Gingu Slim Shady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Zulu nickname as a kid was um, Bomvu, which is the red one. Yeah, I assumed it meant something, yeah. Ginger. <laughs> and, and, and now... That's it, universal, it, it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's in Cherbe, the bearded one, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. How long did your beard have to get before they stopped focusing on the ginger? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, I've got to get away from the ginger somehow. Go and grow the beard. <laughs> oh, really is nice to know that wherever you are in the world, they'll it's a universal thing. Ginger people. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's socially accepted it. yeah. uh, bullying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's one of the very few that's left because, you yeah. know, like, uh, you know, fat shaming is frowned upon nowadays. I mean, I'm still holding the fort over it, but, you know, <laughs> so we're only really down to gingers now. It, you know, no, so thank no. you for the service you provided for the rest yeah, of us. No, the woke crowd didn't include us, unfortunately. No, they really <laughs> haven't. It's one they've just gone, yeah, you can still have gingers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go on, right. Yeah, we, all, we all like taking the piss out of gingers, obviously, <laughs> obviously. It's actually what united South Africa when you... <laughs> <laughs> when I left. <laughs> yeah, the that. Rainbow Nation, but not gingers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of Mandela being like, we all like gingers, though, don't we? <laughs> Come we do. on, guys. Well, let's I let's knew, unite. One of my biggest regrets in life is actually... I got the chance to meet Mandela and yeah. I chose not to when oh, I was a kid. How come? I, I was an idiot. Yeah. He was having his birthday uh, at my school because um, we had big rugby fields and stuff. And it was during the school holidays and they were like, oh, we're looking for some volunteers to help out with Mandela's 80th birthday party. And I was like, nah, busy. Yeah, and I, only, I literally lived like ten minutes down the road. It's not as if like I was. Yeah. Oh wow! But, but you're a child. Uh, you don't really uh, yeah. get the scale of what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm just like I'm kicking myself now. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather meet one of the most famous people yeah. who ever lived on their 80th birthday when they're about to die, or yeah. play this PlayStation that you can yeah. play at any point? At well, all? I didn't even have that excuse. I, genuinely, I can't even tell you what. I just yeah. was like, nah, nah. But you like that like, when you're a kid, oh, didn't you? It was so like, stupid. Yeah. 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 Shit. Anyway. Yeah, fuck you, Mandela. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a rhino to look at. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I could have met anybody that I you did. would have exactly done that though. Like, surely you can relate to that. That's the most relatable thing Sean has said to you. Yeah. I, all that. If, if Mandela was in my garden, I might tilt my head slightly top of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the level of shit that I give about anything really. Yeah. I don't I don't get those people that like are desperate to meet famous people. Yeah, I know, but like Mandela is like another thing. Like yeah. you know, he's like. A cultural icon who did incredible things. I'd like, yeah. I'd like to shake the man's hand. You know, Absol yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it was, it was just post, post the Rugby World Cup, which we won. Yeah, it was pretty you big. Ninety ninety five. Yeah, 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 it was just after that and everything. So like, he, you know, he, he, my, he was an important, inspirational person to yeah. me, and I somehow still went, Nah, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So it's my parent. Like, it's my mate who, who uh, his grandfather offered him when he was like ten or twelve, like a Lord's cricket like lifetime membership which is hereditary you yeah. pass it down and he was like nah i don't think so so he like gave it away or sold it whatever and oh i was like God. why did you even give me the option yeah. you should have just been like you are taking this one day yeah, yeah and i think my parents should have done that to me like you are going to stay at school in the holidays yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> and you are going to do this yeah, <laughs> like yeah. don't give me the option <laughs> you need that taking over the, the monkey in me was just like nah, i got other things that are messing around what, with. What is this monkey and terrier thing that you keep referring to? I just worked to? it out that I have these two characteristics. Is there a test that you can do? Probably. I've been... No, just oh, so think you've done your own thing. Yeah, I've just, go... worked, I've just like micro-analyzed the decisions I make and the things that motivate me. Got and a lot of time to think about this. Yeah, sort of thing, well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And because like every now and then, and it was every like usually every couple of years, I found myself in this period of like just feeling like agitated and like I was like oh just nothing excited me about life even though everything was going well I wasn't depressed or anything but I just I was like oh you know just like itchy feet like oh and then I did something that was I, I cycled the length of Britain 2008 and I'll and doing that and it was miserable and it was cold and I was slow it took me 25 days the record's two days like this so that's <laughs> how slow it was um I remember getting back from that going 
ah, like this is what I need in life. I just need something that's stupidly pointless, has no real relevance to anything. It's not going to change the world, but I need to do it. Unfortunately, that's just what I have to do. Yeah. Um, and then because of that, it's now become a job and there's – the, the, you know, I, I, I'd like to think some people who read my story get some inspiration about, out of it. So it's not completely selfish, even though it sort of is. Um, but yeah, I, I've just worked out. And then once the Terry is fed, so like doing the 105, the Terry is cool now. So now I can be a monkey again and it's awesome. You yeah. know, and I can just like mess things up and yeah. I break stuff just so I can fix it. You what, know? <laughs> what animal do you most identify with? Uh, octopus with uh, bread knife gaff tape to his <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> That's a deep dive, isn't it? Deep dive, little callback. What about, uh, what no, about I, you, Tom? I like don't know, I think about that. Uh, cheeky little grasshopper. Uh, little, He's a little chipmunk. Pup, little puppy. Chipmunk, oh, chipmunk, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Total chipmunk energy. But like a really like nasty, rabid one that'll give you an infection. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm a duck. In what way? You like bread? And rape. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> start to move on. Uh, I think some sort of sloth. No, I'd be a... Um, I, I just lost the easy choice, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, think... so, I sort of get the monkey terrier thing, but like, have you ever been diagnosed with ADHD? So, because <laughs> no. like, I'm related to you a lot in a lot of ways. Yeah. So, like... the, the, so the, I probably am, but I don't think it. I don't think it hinders me. No, and you don't like if you've got a way of dealing yeah. with it yourself. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. also, but and I, I think ADHD you can have hyper focus because I can be hyper focused. Exactly. Like, yeah, that, that's mo- one of the symptoms, mate. Yeah. For months on end, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. not just hyper focus for an afternoon on doing yeah. something important. But I can really when dial you get in. into something. Yeah, like yeah, when I'm yeah. writing my books, I'm super yeah, hyper focused. Yeah. When I'm doing the challenges, I'm hyper focused. So, yeah. yeah, but I probably am. Probably am. I've been told I, that. I'd a lot, say so. But yeah, game recognized game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's one of those things where, like, you know, all that basically can happen if you get diagnosed is they try and find some coping method yeah. for you. And oh, if you've got I've one, you fuck, yeah, just do yeah. 105 Iron Man. Yeah. Got ADHD. Yeah, it's I'm, great. I'm glad <laughs> mine's just stand up comedy. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. I just, I just go. I get my adrenaline rush. I go stand in front of people and make some jokes. I get yeah. my buzz. That satisfies my terrier. That's te- that's terrifying for me. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what's so funny with no. like stuff like that. Like I can think of nothing worse than doing an Iron Man, let alone 105. No. 20 minutes on stage, lovely. No, I can do the stage thing. Like I've talked to Google and I've done yeah. a TED talk to like well, however many people logged in, but to do the, the co- like trying to be far. Oh, I just I couldn't do it. Couldn't yeah. do it. He can't either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me panic attacks. Just like. Yeah. You know, because you've just, you, you, your whole, ah, oh, just. It is like a uniquely vulnerable thing. Yeah. Like, there is the feeling of he, yeah. trying to be funny and having it fail very badly yeah. is like a unique experience. You tried stand up recently, didn't you, Tom? You I know did what that it. feels like. I did try it. You know uh, what it feels like to be shit at stand up? Well, I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I wouldn't say I was really shit, but I was a bit shit. Yeah. The problem with me was I wasn't worried about it. I just didn't enjoy the good bits at all, but hated the bad bits. Mm. So yeah. I just got, got no enjoyment out of it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do it again. Yeah, fair enough. Go but on. I have signed up for a triathlon recently, though. Have you? But it's not an Ironman. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, where it's a sprint uh, one, so it's the equivalent. So where you, your a, equivalent is a marathon. A baby. A yeah, baby one. The run I'm doing is 5k. 5K right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's very. Yeah. It's easy. A triathlon, a chino. <laughs> like a baby chino at Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's the short. You get four versions, and they double in distance each time. Right. Okay. So sprint doubles to the Olympic, doubles to the half, doubles to the full. Okay, so so so, any tips for Tom when he's doing his shit little triathlon? Baby that, one, pathetic that one. kids triathlon. Yeah. That isn't impressive at all, and literally yeah. anybody could do it. Also, anytime. I've already done one before. Yeah. I'm just doing it again. Uh, it's the run that really hurts often. If you, so, if you don't, if you're not run fit, that's the thing that'll kill you. Whereas yeah. you, if you're super run fit, you can probably survive the bike. Yeah, yeah. that would be my biggest tip, really. And the swim doesn't really matter. It's only ten minutes. So, yeah. 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 Good. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm going to win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my other tip is, every time someone overtakes you on the bike, just shout, shit swimmer. Because <laughs> <laughs> it means you got out the pool, the, the yeah, pool yeah. before them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel better. Well, nice. last, well, last time I did it, I got overtaken on the bike a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. So you're obviously a good swimmer. <laughs> uh, do you want a feature? Well, I guess we're going to have to. Oh, this feature will, that will not die. We have the best feature of any podcast, hey, Sean. Sean, listen, I know 105, 106 marathon uh, the fucking Ironmans might seem like a big endurance to you, 
just wait until you've sat through this fucking feature. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. You're Everyone really loves this feature. The zone. Really Everyone loves this feature. Your Only mon- Freddie and Rob don't like your it. Your monkey oh, yeah. and terrier are about to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Cunt of the Week. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, it's now, it's I know what you're thinking, Sean. You're probably thinking, well, that was quite a nice intro, that. That's quite impressive. That's the best that this gets. Yeah, it's only it downhill right. from here. It falls down. Only downhill from here. So, okay. what happens, Sean, is I'm going to tell you three stories. These have been sent in by our uh, ugly listeners, <laughs> and um, they've all nominated a cunt of the week. We're going to decide who the cunt of the week is, and we're going to have loads of fun along the way. First story yeah. is Some called. Some of that is not true. <laughs> First story is called Crabs. I would like to nominate my flatmate, who after getting crabs from a one-night stand, decided to self-medicate by using my electric razor to shave off his pubes. This meant I got crabs put in my beard, which I passed on to my now ex-girlfriend by going down on her. When she discovered the crabs, she came round, accusing me of cheating and broke up with me. It took my flatmate, who heard the argument, months to come clean about using my razor. Can you get crabs in your beard? Well, it looks like it. Beard crabs. Beard of course crabs. you can. It's just hair, isn't it? Yeah, but I think they're very specifically pube dwellers, aren't they? Pube that's the, that's dwellers. <laughs> what? What an insult for somebody! <laughs> Shut up, you little pube dweller. <laughs> well, what is a beard if not face pubes? Correct, Tom. Yeah, no fair play. I think it's like slightly different, though. I but, think uh, you can definitely get crabs in a beard. I think if you could get crabs in your beard, I would have done been out. <laughs> if only way there was <laughs> like there was one of us that was sat in front of some sort of. A device that had access to the answer to every question. Yeah, there finally, we finally, go. There you go. <laughs> Crabs in your beard. Here we go. Uh, they may make, occasionally okay. be found on other cause body hair, such eyebrows. as legs, armpits, moustache. What? Enough. Eyebrows? Eyebrows. Fucking eyebrow crabs. How are you getting them in there? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna... I went I went down on her disapprovingly. I went I went slightly too far down on her. That's <laughs> so what happens when you get licked out by the rock. <laughs> <laughs> if you smell it's bad that the uh, they didn't come uh, didn't come clean straight away. I think if you've given anyone crabs you need to immediately Yeah. Uh, be like, hey, those are my crabs. Can I have them back? I got crabs from a fisherman once. Yeah? Actual crowd, he gave Yeah, it. okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so did Freddy in a sauna. <laughs> my, um, my mate uh, used to have a flat, and it was like the party flat, yeah. you know, that you used to go to when we were like 20s or whatever. And you had this flatmate called Ian. And you had to say Ian, you couldn't say Ian. Anyway. Why? Why? Whose rule was that? That was just the rule. Oh, okay. That was the rule. That was his name. <laughs> so Ian uh, used to go home at weekends. He used to live in Coventry or somewhere, and he'd go see his girlfriend. Uh, but we used to always sleep in his bed, and he got really annoyed by it. So he put uh, a lock on the front of his door. So the first weekend that his lock was on his door, all we had to do was unscrew the door to yeah. get in. My mates uh, stayed in his room, shagged this girl in his room. And then Ian, the uh, next week, came back with his girlfriend and found loads of blonde hair in his bed. So his girlfriend immediately dumped him, and that was that. <laughs> she just finished him because my mate shagged a girl in his bed. And no one thought to like explain the situation? Nope, because we'd, uh, because we'd screwed the lock back on his door, yeah. and he was so angry about that, no one wanted to say that they'd unscrewed his thing. So that was that. <laughs> So we all just kept quiet. Yeah, 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 everyone kept quiet, and then that was the end of Ian. He, uh, it, he moved Ian, back. If Ian's watching this, is this him finding out about it now? Yeah, you know what we also used to do. <laughs> Ian had a he had a kayak, right? And uh, what why? Used... why? <laughs> Fuck, did he have a kayak? He's that know. guy who, when the, a town floods, is kayaking down the high street. I always yeah, wonder yeah. where they get that from. Wait, yeah, yeah, I've done that. He's doing... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't surprise me though, to be honest, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it yeah. on every flood in Britain. <laughs> 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 So he had this kayak and this flat, there's like four stories. And uh, one night we got back from town and we did time trials of who can kayak down the stairs the fastest, <laughs> down four stories. <laughs> and it annoyed a lot of people. I bet, yeah. yeah, yeah it's very loud. Yeah, right. So you're nominating yourself for Cunt of the Week? Oh, no, it wasn't me that did this. This was, right. my, this was oh, right. my friend who did that. Okay. I maybe, was just there. Maybe we should get your friend on the podcast then. Maybe we should. <laughs> <laughs> Right. What, what's, I um, just love the idea that Ian's crying and everyone's yeah. like, oh, what's wrong, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one is called Child Herter. Am I cunt of the week? Last year, I went on holiday with my girlfriend and her family. Whilst on the beach, her six-year-old brother asked me if I wanted to play football. As we were playing, I pushed him off the ball and he fell over. As soon as he hit the floor, he started screaming. Initially, I thought he was being overdramatic and started laughing, trying to pick him up onto his feet, but he kept on dropping down and screaming louder and louder. What made me realise he wasn't faking it was when he passed out from the pain. At this point, his dad came over, pushed me away from him and called me a cunt. 
Turns out when he fell over, he tore his ACL and MCL, which I didn't think kids could do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This cut his and his dad's holiday That's very... That's a season out. <laughs> <laughs> this cut his and his dad's holiday very short, and I just stayed in the room for the remainder of the trip. I'm still with the girl, but I haven't been round to her house since. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's bad, that. Yeah, yeah, you've destroyed a child's leg. How hard did he push that fucking kid, man? No, you don't have to land. If you land weird, you don't have to push them hard. Yeah, yeah some of the worst injuries, they're not yeah. from bad tackles, are they? From that's like... it. That's when you know it's bad, when a footballer just goes down nowhere near anyone. Mm. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's a horrific Twisted one. Studs. Sometimes it's just, yeah, just a little tiny thing and just pop. Yeah. Is that goes... is that the horror injury for you, Sean? Those two are bad, those two, yeah. Have you had them? No. No. Actually, yeah. Those are the ones you... Yeah, Inshallah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. I don't think uh, this kid's going to be doing any Ironmans anytime yeah. soon. Well, they, you can get surgery on them so yeah and if you look injuries when you happen when you're very young yeah. heal better than when you're older yeah. isn't it? so you know shit. maybe the kids are pussy <laughs> but the kid's got <laughs> shit knees <laughs> sorry that your child that's what you need to do when you go around eventually because you're gonna have to face up to them eventually if you're staying with this girl eventually you've got to walk in and just be like to the kid like how are your shit knees <laughs> i've got to own it i think you gotta do the other knee <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just fucking roy Keane, the other one <laughs> oh god that's pretty that's pretty cunty, to be honest with you. Yeah, but it's also one of those it's things where you're just playing, yeah. you know, yeah. you're fucking around, you don't think anything's going to happen. It's not great. I though. remember my bro- uh, my uncle broke my brother's arm playing football once. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, uh, my brother was like, a, you know, in goal or whatever, he was just having a little kick about. And my uncle just swatted a ball and broke his arm. <laughs> but then ev- but everyone was like, <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Yeah. I mean, my brother was fuming, but like, yeah. I, in fact, you know, I don't even think he was that arsed. I think everyone was just like, <laughs> Oh, it's a funny accident that yeah. happened. My uncle did his, uh, did his, I think maybe ACL, but something did a proper bad ligament damage playing cricket with me in the garden. Uh, I, th- I didn't know. Like I thought he was just like mucking around. He went to bowl a ball, and just like landed weird. Yeah, knee or like weird, and he was just like on the floor screaming in agony. And I was like, ah, shall I hit it better with the bat? <laughs> and he was just like, no, no, no. <laughs> but he was like, a, he was like a sports guy. He did like, uh, he like worked for the FA, like doing like sports training and shit. So like, yeah, real bad. <laughs> Just yeah. absolutely fucked himself say up. What you, what you, say what you want about my sedentary lifestyle. I probably have the best ACLs in the game. We got, you must have very strong lower legs from the amount of, uh, you know, doing 300-pound squats about three times a day. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, just getting upstairs is quite an intense activity. Oh, Jesus mean? Christ, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like doing the Atlas Stones in the World's Strongest Man. <laughs> what, my two arse cheeks? Yeah, the Atlas Flabs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, last one. This one's called Volunteer. I've been working at a primary school for over a year now, working three days a week. I'm basically an extra adult in Key Stage 1, Year 5 and Year 6. I help kids with things like reading and track their progress, forest skills, do all the high-frequency word monitoring for Year 1 and 2. I also do one-on-one phonics. Oh, with the I don't care. Loads of shit. Loads of shit. Yeah, already, you're cut of the week for telling you me all are, that jargon you, about teaching I don't care you about. Are, you are basically a TA. Yeah, loads so of shit. All of that stuff. Phonics is just like how words sound and yeah, shit like that. Word PE, means. first aid. Yeah. Plus, I'm an after-school club that's grown from three students to 11 in just seven months. Oh, that's <laughs> dreadful. Why What's are you that? giving us your CV? What's that? It's just over one a month. Yeah, it's yeah. just over one we child We now a have month. 11 kids in an after-school club. Well, laddy, fucking da. Jesus, here. Yeah. The thing is, I'm only a volunteer. I'm not getting paid. Who's the cunt here? The school for not offering me a paid job or me for what? letting myself get made a mug of? What are you on about? What did you think was happening when you volunteered? You're a volunteer. <laughs> they don't get paid. That's what a volunteer yeah, is. Yeah, because the thing is, is what's I've changed my mind here. What's happened is you've come to the school and done, gone, can I do some work for you? And they've gone, we'll find some stuff for this useless yeah. cunt to do. And now you're like, well, why am I not getting paid for it? Because if you died tomorrow, they'd find another way to do this. And those 11 kids would forget about your after-school club instantly. They would forget instantly. You're a prick for making it out like your life's important. It's not. (laughs) The end. (laughs) Yeah, but you've covered it there. Yeah. There we go. He's the biggest cunt. Right. Or she. Yeah, it's actually a them. Uh, it's a them. It's a them. Oh, it's okay. a famous them that likes the podcast. Okay, <laughs> so Reb, you're a cunt. <laughs> so the cut of the week we've got is the crabs guy. Yeah. The guy who gave a kid an ACL. Yeah. Or Reb. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Oh, what, what a tough one this time. Uh, I'm going Reb. You're going Reb? Last yeah. one for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's your vote, Sean? Although the crabs thing, that's crabs like, is pretty he, he bad. Knew. Not admitting it. Yeah, yeah. like it was, it, there was like definite mistruths there. Mm, yeah. I can say I can see the crabs being a worthwhile. But then you're fair. right. You know, if you're yeah. going to volunteer for something, don't do it unless yeah. you want to do it. Exactly. <laughs> Just ask now. Ask now. Yeah. You've got all this experience. Go. I've got all this experience now. Can I have a real job? Yeah. And when they say no, don't be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Schools yeah. don't have any money. They'll like, say uh, they'll say no so quickly. So quickly. Be- you go. Can I have no? <laughs> <laughs> because all the I'm an extra adult in key stage one. At no point, and I've been a teacher, at no point have I ever been like, oh, I need an extra adult to help me with these 10-year-olds. Like, shut <laughs> the fuck up. Yeah, you need less adults around. Yeah, yeah. You're, they're like increasing the class size. <laughs> um, I'm going to go crabs as well. So it's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw. Let's spin the wheel. We've not had a draw for, for a while. For fuck's sake. We're going to spin the wheel to find out who's cut of the week. This is the problem with it. There's always four votes, so it's always a draw. <laughs> it's time for Cunt of the Week. All right, let's see. Let's spin the wheel. Who is it going to be? Who is it, it going to be? And it's, it's Lab it's Baby. It's Lab Baby. It's Lab Baby's Lab Baby. Cunt of the Week. Lab well Baby. done, Lab Baby. Lab Baby. Well done, Send Lab me Baby. your address. I'll send you a prize. Well, another spectacular success. Another success. For, uh, Cunt of the Week. For Cunt of the Week. A uh, feature that will not die. Do you want some videos? Okay, so now, uh, Sean, I'm not sure if you've, you've not seen the podcast before, have you? No. Now, we like to end the podcast with uh, our fans like to send us in some fun little videos they found on the internet. And when I say fun little videos, horrifying things that will scar you for life. Now, uh, if you've got a video you'd like to send in, it's 07354 188 257 on WhatsApp. As ever, there are rules. Uh, no animal shagging, no racism, no uh, deliberate death. And uh, what's the other one? No kids. No kids, no kids. Uh, unless Unless, of course, you get all four in one video, in which case it's a full house. So uh, send it in. <laughs> so, uh, is there anything in particular that like uh, it turns your stomach or anything like that? Are you pretty iron stomach, Sean? I think I'm pretty good, but then also everything turns my stomach. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, there is a uh, Dead Man Talking branded sick bucket down there should you need at okay. any point. Um, um, and also, these will get progressively worse if you want to tap out at any point. <laughs> We're going to play a little game first. We did it last week. Yeah. Or maybe we didn't. I can't remember if the uh-huh. episode got deleted. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to play a game called What Happens Next? What Happens Next? Right. Well, so there is. So it's a man is... on a bat. I really bat. can't watch it. He's stood on <laughs> a bat. <laughs> Wow. There's a woman underneath him. You are not built for this, mate. If you've just not. seen a penis and you've got to have tapped out. <laughs> it's right. a woman stood over it's a bloke stood over a woman. I don't like the health and safety of this. I'm calling the I'm calling the slip or fall. A slip or fall. Slip or fall. Uh, I don't think that's a woman. I think that, that is a transgender person. Okay. okay, that's not really important, I don't think. No, yeah. I think that they stand up and they've got a big fat cock. Right. I that's it, that's how you think you end up. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think is gonna happen next, Sean? I uh, slip and fall. Yeah. Slip and yeah. fall. I think it's our top favourite. ACL, ACL. ACL's oh, coming up here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! And then someone's put a funny TikTok yeah. thing at the end of it. Slip and fall, hurt his ball. Oh! <laughs> That one is brutal. Yeah. I enjoy what happens next. It's a good game. It's it? a good game. <laughs> right on the edge of the bath. That's going to be a stinger. Okay, let's why go. Was he, why was he intent on getting his dick sucked in that particular It's a weird way. angle to go for. That's it's... a man who's had his dick sucked too many times. <laughs> he's like yeah. he's like bored of every what? other. Just... He's done it 105 blowies in a row. And he's like, yeah. just as a spectacular finish. Iron blows. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like he wanted his dick sucked like she was like a... You know, like Roman emperors just like had eight grapes. Like, <laughs> what a bizarre way to go about yeah, it. Very decadent. Why, who, what sort of absolute fucking arsehole decides to reinvent the blowjob? <laughs> it's arrogant, you know isn't I mean? it? It's yeah. such, it's you don't perfect. need a postmodern blowy. <laughs> it's perfect how it is. It's for TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blame TikTok. It's Nonsense. the internet age, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Just doing it for the likes. Mm. Nonsense. Yeah. Uh, this is called Don't Bite Our Boat. It's pretty obvious what's going to happen next, Don't but there's, there's a funny line at the end. Okay. okay. Don't bite our boat. There's a man on a boat. There's a big, like a little, a little shark. Oh. Oh. oh! God, you should have let it bite the boat. Fuck! Oh. I got, you, 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 missed the, you missed the line. 
Oh, my goddamn pinky. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my I'm goddamn pinky. I am squirmish for that sort of stuff. That <laughs> is, yeah, that pinky went off quick. It's only a little shark, but like a little it's shark will get twisted, his pinky yeah. and it just went whip, ripped it off in it. Oh, that flip round. Yikes. Yeah, that no, was brutal. Yeah. Right in front of your child. Because yeah. like the thing is, the dude's got to keep it together as well because his kid's there. So he can't be like, he's trying to not make it traumatic for the yeah, kid as well. Yeah, because that kid will be afraid of water for the rest of its life. Oh, though, yeah, that kid's not going swimming ever again. Nope. Like, that's done. Yeah. They're only going to have to do two-thirds of the triathlon. <laughs> <laughs> Some in circles from now. <laughs> All right. uh, this one's called Dart. Oh, that's always fun. Dart's going to be a dart in someone's face, I think. Do you reckon? Or testicles. Or oh, Van Gogh. Oh, oh, man. No. 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 Is it his fucking head? Oh, I can't watch this. Oh, it's too, that's, oh, I, oh, that's, oh, 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 they all seemed really happy about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. even the guy who got hit with a dart. He, he was buzzing. so chill about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, look, you've all, we've all been in a pub board in an afternoon. Are you all right? You know? all right? I can't. Sure. I'm so cringe with like any of that sort of stuff. Oh, oh this, that one so was not like, like, like paper cuts and that things. one was oh, not. The it. worst like, one that we. It's not even the worst dart one we've been seeing. The worst dart one was the girl. Where it went into her eye. Oh, oh, yeah, that one was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She walked past the dartboard and he yeah. threw it and it just stuck in her <laughs> eye. It was like. Because he's bald, what they should be doing there, draw a dartboard on his head. Yeah, oh. you really want to complete the bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. But, like, yeah, that is just like every pub in Britain has three bored blokes in doing something weird on an afternoon. Yeah. And, like, you know, that one's escalated. And I used to be one of those bored, bald blokes. I know. I used to be one of those blokes. That was my life for and a while. But I'm me and my not. mate Steve would just throw M&Ms across the pub and try and catch them in our mouth. And we'd leave the darts on the board, <laughs> you know. Uh, this is called Moped. It's a fun one. I think when you say it's a fun one. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just a little silly fun one. Yeah. This one, this one is. This one could have gone first, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> little silly one. Oh, what? That's genuinely impressive. That's brilliant. Two people riding a moped jagged. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> the balance is impressive. What is wrong with the internet? I'm sorry. She's putting a lot of trust in him as well. <laughs> yeah, because he's got the handlebars as well. Right. It, that is impressive. Hear that me is out. An impressive skill, yeah. What if that was the Grand National? <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that like one of them doesn't make it and they have to just put a curtain around the scooter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of the women died at Beecher's Brook. <laughs> just, yeah. I just think that that's quality. That is quite impressive, to be fair. I, it's who a feat suggests that? He's got to be him. Where's the fella, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I assume he's an Italian fella. That's not her fantasy. <laughs> Ah, Giuseppe, bum me on a scooter. <laughs> Giuseppe. <laughs> right, so we have one more, and then we'll, uh, we'll wind it in. Let's watch two more. Okay. Okay, Sean, you might not like this one. This one's got a bike. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Right, right, he's his motorbike. Oh. Oh, is it? Is it a car? But he's carrying he's on. He's still going. Oh. oh. What's he done? Ah, oh, his leg's not in a good way. Oh, I know. I'm not watching. Oh! No. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jeez. my You made God. a good choice, Sean. Oh, oh. my God. Bet you missed that dart, don't you, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. No, I'm glad I... The, 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 uh... oh, oh, my God. It looked like Kermit the Frog's arm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, that was that wild. Was bad. That's why you need to wear leathers, yeah. boys and girls. That yeah, was protective wild. Equipment. I Do can't believe he didn't crash. Kept I it know. together. The fact they stayed on. That you, is you look away, Sean. Can we watch no, that yeah, one I'm more not, time? Because I, I just put my headphones. Yeah, off maybe well. you don't need the. <laughs> That uh, is fucking hell. I can't deal Ooh, with it. That's insane. Sean, I'm going to make you watch this 105 oh, times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so innocuous. Oh, my God. There's a huge gash down the side of his leg. Dude, is that half his foot? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is that half his... Yeah. That might be one of the worst ones we've that's, 
that might be one of the worst injury ones we've ever been yeah, sent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's really great. That is wild. So thanks for ever sending that in. Uh, it's again 07354 188257 on WhatsApp. That's wild. One more? Oh, I don't know. I think oh, that God, might be I'll a top. Be I think we've got to <laughs> tap out there. That one's fucking okay, done. It. We'll save the other two. We'll save it for next week. week. Am I like the worst guest for that sort of stuff? Oh, you I might can't. be the most squeamish. <laughs> I, uh, but like, I just, I, I didn't realize. No, actually, I knew I was squeamish. Yeah. But <laughs> as soon as you saw a guy falling on a bathtub, I was like, he's not going to. Yeah, yeah he's not making the end of these. He's not making the end of this. <laughs> 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 Oh, mate. I think we might have found an endurance sport that I've beaten you at. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you, you can have it. Watching torture porn. <laughs> Sean, this has been an absolute blast, mate. Like, genuine, thanks so much for coming in and, like, really enjoying it. Where can people find you on the internet? Oh, just search me, I guess. Find Sean, Sean Conway. Conway, yeah. Yeah, I'm the only one with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> and look out for you, like, running across shits, like, yeah. cycling across everything. Good luck to you, mate, oh, with the rest of the yeah. Thanks we, for being here. Thanks for having plug? me. Oh, uh, if you've liked this, get on our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod if you want to see those videos that's the only way to do it you've got to be a patron and get on our discord it's the only place we're legally allowed to host them uh, and but even yeah, then <laughs> even then we get uh, quite a few deleted so uh, join us there it's three pounds a month you can have a free trial for a week to check it out that you get an extra episode every week plus like there's hundreds of hours of things on there now on our patrons get that checked out come see us at dead meat july 27th it's going to be our comedy and podcast and general carnage festival in manchester it's going to be fucking sick the lineup's amazing already uh, yeah get your tickets at deadmentalpod.com plus we're both at the edinburgh fringe both at the edinburgh fringe and freddie will be on tour later in the I'm year i'm on tour october november uh, it sold really, really well at the moment. We're close to selling out on a couple of... T- in fact, by the time that we this episode comes out, we'll probably have sold out a couple of dates. Uh, and the rest of them are selling really well as well. So get your tickets or we up and get them now. Yeah, thanks very much for uh, supporting us and that. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> I don't know, fuck off. <laughs>